Hello guys, welcome to Thailand vlog number god knows what. I don't even know what we're on. But today Tom and I have actually headed back to the island of Koh Tao specifically to come diving and to get our scuba diving certificates. This is not something that was on my travel itinerary. I did not think that I was going to end up doing this because one, it wasn't in our initial plan and two, I'm not 100% confident as a swimmer so I've never really looked into scuba diving before. However, the longer we spent in Thailand, the more people we met that had their diving certificate and were going out on dives and were like, you know, doing these excursions that just looked so exciting and so much fun. And I thought, you know what? This is the perfect time and the perfect place to do it. And Koh Tao is a particularly famous island for diving. It is known for turtles, whale sharks, regular sharks. Tom and I are here with La Bombona Diving School. We are so excited. They have actually gifted us this experience so I do just want to make that clear, make it obvious and I am bloody buzzing. I am still a little bit nervous. I'm going to be honest. I'm a total beginner. You guys hopefully know if you watch this channel a lot that I do like to throw myself into things even if it scares me. I'm also willing to give it a go. Tom, who is over there, is just really, really excited. He is a stronger swimmer than me and he is more confident than me. And to be honest, I think that's the only thing that's putting me off is my swimming ability. We met with the dive instructor today who is called Brian. Shout out to him. He might be in this vlog actually, probably will be. Um, and he kind of like calmed my fears, calmed my nerves, it was so, so lovely. So yeah, huge, huge shout out to La Bombona at Diving School. I know a couple of people have dived with them. I actually know some people here at the moment diving with them. So if any of you are looking at doing this too, not only will I be able to recommend this particular dive, school but also you'll be able to see what it's like to do it for the first time here in Thailand. So we are staying in this really gorgeous little hotel slash bungalows. Basically each room is like these private bungalows. This is very common in Thailand. A lot of resorts, especially ones that are on the beach, are geared up like this and often they're like the same price as hostels as well here is Thomas. We are staying here because it's connected to La Bombona Diving School so very very ideal and it's also very idyllic. You can see how beautiful this is. The best bit is without a doubt the swimming pool. Just look at that for an infinity pool. This is actually stunning. I'm obsessed. down to a beach barbecue. I've put a little cord on. I haven't worn this yet just because the skirt is so short. Actually, I wore the skirt as a bikini cover up, but like I haven't worn it out. But I figured I was just chilling on the beach, barbecue vibes. And I also think that we actually know two people that are gonna be at this. So I have like sort of internet friends called Joel and Amelia, um, who like predominantly are TikTokers. Joel creates travel TikToks and I followed him in the lockdown. I just absolutely love his content. Um, and his girlfriend's here traveling with him. She has an amazing Instagram. And a couple of weeks ago I reached out and I was like, oh, if our paths cross, we should like try and like meet up. Um, and then weirdly, we're both here in this exact hotel doing the diving this week. So I was like, let's definitely have dinner. And then there's a beach barbecue, so even better. Good morning from Fisherman's Resort in Koh Tao. Today is the first day of our dive certificate, but we don't actually have to do anything until this evening. We have like an induction where we basically go through a load of paperwork and like the logistics behind it. I think the first half of this course is actually really paperwork heavy. So sorry about that bird as well. But I feel like it's really a theory based to start with, which is good because I guess you really need to learn the basics before you just dive straight into the ocean. And I want to know it properly. I Feel like it makes me more reassured about doing anything if I like no theory behind it. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, like for example, when I passed my driving theory test, I felt like it made me such a better driver and I should have done that before I started to learn to drive. But until that point, we actually have a free morning in hotel. Tom and I are gonna head for breakfast just in the hotel, I think, because the restaurant's literally. Watch me open these doors. This is the restaurant. So like, you know. So we're gonna head there and then I think maybe rent a motorbike. Kotao is a tiny island, so we should be able to explore quite a lot of it today if we get a bike. So I think we're gonna be doing that. Uh, but first off is food, obviously. It definitely doesn't have a hundred legs. Can you not see that thing crawling? I don't know, yeah. The military that holds the record for the most legs in the year 750. Ooh. Guys, if you're gonna hear Tom talking about centipedes in the background, it's because this morning we've had four centipedes in the room of us. I'm not scared of them, so we're okay with it. And Tom's just finding it really interesting. He's doing his, his centipede research. They but, could regrow legs, but not their body. Ah, uh, so if you could chop their legs in the door, they would have regrown and accidentally beheaded one of them. But um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna go and hire a motorbike now for 
just a couple of hours i think just for the day because we want to see the rest of the hotel that we didn't see when we were on the tour and also before the scuba diving starts because i'm pretty sure once this starts it's going to be quite intense got my little thailand shorts on and this is the first day i've wore this bando because i feel like can't really get away with a white bando until you've got your tan otherwise i blend into the bando but i'm pretty pretty tan now um but yeah we're gonna go we're gonna head out and get a bike tom's showing me the, oh bloody that. hell well, yeah evil, doesn't it? that was not the centipede that was in the bathroom luckily no it was a millipede i love this bed because it has mosquito nets around it so we've not been bitten last night which was so good i love it this is uh probably the best bed we've slept in so far <laughs> Your shirt matches your eyes. You always say that. It does. We have hired motorbikes, as I said, and we've just come into Katao, like town, if you could call it that. It's not very big at all. It's actually, I think, the smallest of the Thai islands, or definitely one of them. Um, but we've headed into like the main bit. It's literally so geared up for scuba diving. Every single shop down this whole road is like a scuba diving shop, pretty much. But I think we're going to carry on walking, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Wow, Tom's growing. Yeah, we're going to carry on walking, just exploring, really. As I said, we've got a free morning, so we just thought we'll come, go look at the shops, go look at some cafes. We just popped into this beach bar behind us because it was actually raining. So we thought we'll pop in there, get a drink, and then carry on exploring. Wow, my hair looks funny right now. These headbands though, even though they look sort of daft, they're a lifesaver for keeping my like fringy pieces out of my face. But we've just got back from just exploring hotel, like the town centre. I actually got my nails done at a really lovely nail salon. The staff were lovely in there. Just went for pink, thought it was summery. But yeah, I'm gonna go outside, sit by the pool now. We've actually got a little bit of homework that we need to do. There's a lot of theory, as I mentioned earlier. So we have to do some like pre-reading before we go to the induction this evening. So we're gonna sit by the pool, do that. And then I think tomorrow we have actual like written like classroom time. I don't know if there's an exam. I think there's a written exam, like an online exam. Um, so we need to do some like revision, which is wild, but I've definitely had worse spots to do revision and I've definitely had worse revision to do. Like I'm voluntarily putting myself through this, you know, so. We are back from our first kind of orientation. It was basically just a lot of like form filling out and admin, but also we did do some like online revision, online tests. I actually passed them all first time. I was bloody excited about that. because I was like, I don't know anything. Quite a lot of it is like you read alongside it and then you take the test. And then some of it was just like general knowledge and like things that you probably would know anyway, but it was like just to check. Um, so I found that really interesting. And of course, Brian, who actually owns La Bombona, diving centre here in Koh Tao is so lovely so any questions any nerves that I have I'm just like and what about this and what about this and like Tom if any of you I was gonna say if any of you have ever met Tom most of you watching this probably haven't but Tom is like the question master like he will ask questions until he feels fully comfortable that is just what Tom is like he always has a question like whoever you're chatting to Tom will have a question like it is just part of his personality so we're actually gonna head for dinner now we're going back into Koh Tao like main town centre. We actually know a few people on the island right now. It seems like Koh Tao is the place to be. So we know Joel and Amelia who were here last night and then also our friend Inez who we were travelling on the True Travels tour with is also diving in Koh Tao at the moment so I'm not sure who we're seeing or when we're seeing them but like at some point during the evening I think we're gonna go for a drink with maybe all of them maybe just two, a few of them. Like I don't really know what's going on it's just very much like oh we'll see if we see each other later but yeah that is the plan. On the tour, it's Inez. Number, Honestly, I think this is vlog number 12. Madness, but here she is. You got your diving certificate today, yeah? But now we're playing pool. Tom's actually got really good at it while he's out here, which is uh, really annoying. I can't do it at all, so he's very competitive. Now I'm all right, yeah. yeah, as I was saying. Yeah. Morning, today is the day of our first proper diving lesson. If you've never scuba dived before and you're watching this for the first time, basically the way that you start off is in a diving swimming pool. Obviously they don't throw you in the deep end and tell you to jump off a boat into the ocean. You do do a day's training in like a, a deep pool so that you can kind of get to grips with it in a more comfortable environment. So that is what we're doing today. We've just had a two hour workshop on like the safety of everything, how to use the equipment, how to like attach yourself to the equipment all of that sort of stuff a little bit of a overview tom and i are actually doing the open water 20 certificate so basically this is the basic beginner open water certificate that you can take if you've never done scuba diving before there are different levels so if we really enjoy this and want to continue we can go on to do different dive depth 
level training but this is 20 meters 18 to 20 meters is the like the first level that you can kind of get something i'm stressing about the most probably is equalizing my ears obviously the water pressure um really affects like your sinuses and your ears and that is something that i struggle with on land like i have really sensitive ears um flying is a nightmare <laughs> i always have like really bad ears when i land or take off in an airplane so i feel you know it's going to be something that if i can learn how to do it actually might be a transferable skill that might be really useful but that is what i'm most nervous about beforehand hopefully i'm going to get some footage of us training at the swimming pool you can see what it's like and then hopefully i'm gonna learn how to do that as well as all the other things i need to learn so we spent about five hours at the swimming pool just getting to grips with all of the equipment learning how to put it on learning what everything does and obviously this was kind of the time where we were really taking in this skill everything was like completely new to us and this was where we were just practicing to be honest it is bulky equipment guys if you've never done scuba diving or seen scuba diving equipment there is a lot of stuff that you need to like prep before you just jump into the water it is time for dinner i am so hungry i will do a full update of what the day one induction in the pool was like after we have eaten because right now eating is my main priority we're actually going to eat with everybody that we're scuba diving with and also the instructor brian and we're all going for dinner together so super friendly if you're looking at doing this it's definitely a really social environment if you're traveling by yourself i definitely wouldn't be put off by that but first we're gonna go for dinner and then i'll do a review because whew, we're starving aren't we we are very hungry let's go and get some scram Woo! Oh guys, I forgot to mention our resident other friend, Norman. Oh, Nelly Norman's ran away. He's a bit shy, but he's a bloody massive lizard. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's smiling. I have literally made a friend in this dog that's sitting under the table, and he won't move. We are bougie bougie tonight, guys. Oh, we're both in blue. We're both in blue. And I'm also wearing Tom's clothes, <laughs> as if I didn't bring enough on my own. It is the next morning now, and I thought I'd do a little explanation as to what we did yesterday, and then also what we're doing today. We spent five hours yesterday in the swimming pool, didn't we? We did, just doing like safety, safety training. Yep. Um, <laughs> and just do, doing different like scenarios, like what to do in case you lose your mask, in case you're out there. That's them. Yeah, it's time to go. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to explain it more once we've done. But as you can imagine, we spent yesterday doing all the training that is needed before you could start in the open water. Everything we did in the swimming pool was prepped for today. That was Brian knocking on our door telling us it's time to leave because we're going on our first open water dive in the actual ocean. So hopefully everything we put into practice yesterday is going to be useful, but we're not going to need all of the emergency procedures that was just to cover our backs hopefully we're not gonna need that so then it was time for our first open water dives honestly i'm not gonna lie i was really really nervous before jumping into the water i did keep thinking am i gonna enjoy this am i gonna panic and want to go to the surface is this gonna be for me but honestly brian made us all feel so relaxed and even though there were a few teething problems like this is a new skill some of us really just struggle with like getting our buoyancy right which is basically just how much you float in the water and obviously you don't want to be floating too high or floating too low but once we kind of got the the hang of that skill it actually just became really enjoyable and I forgot that I was even learning to scuba dive and was instead just like mesmerized by the beautiful beautiful ocean that we were in so there was so many gorgeous corals gorgeous fish I mean look at that what is this it's so cool but yeah this was so so much fun and I know this is going to be one of my like core memories that I take away from Thailand it just felt lovely to be able to do it alongside Tom and alongside such a lovely group of people and I really felt like I was in Finding Nemo. Like I'm living my best Finding Nemo life in these clips. <laughs> So then even though we were exhausted by the time we got back we actually did sit the online exam it is basically 45 multiple choice questions about the theory of scuba diving and you can't pass and become an open water diver without doing this <laughs> come on let's be 
to show you the driver's perspective. Let's go! We're going for burgers, guys. We're gonna go have another hippo burger. We had it the last time we were here. Last night we had curry and cheese. I had a cheese board, don't think I told you that. Oh, I'll show you a few bit. I really don't think vlogging on the back of a motorbike is actually advisable, so I'm gonna put it away now, but um, Tom has got really good at this. Vibes! Oh my gosh, it is considerably later. I've just got back from having dinner, but we completed our first two open water dives. I'm actually quite proud of myself. This is a completely new skill set. Like, I've done nothing like this. This is like throwing myself in at the deep end, but also I don't really think there are any other skills that are similar to this. Yeah, literally the deep end. 10 meters to be precise today, and tomorrow we're going down to 18 meters. The first two dives were a success. The first one was a little bit shaky. Like, we were all just a bit overwhelmed, I think, because obviously we've never, we've never dived in open water before like it was a weird feeling like you're just going lower and lower and lower and like the the sea surface is like getting further and further away from you and obviously it's not really natural to be doing like your body's instinct is to like fight against it so it's like retraining your brain and like it's all done through the breath work like there's so much focus on your breathing it's crazy but so tomorrow we have to be up at 6 15 ish to do an early morning dive and then one more dive after that which is going to be a bit more like skill focused i think so that we know how to like do stuff in the water should something go wrong yeah both tom and i really enjoyed it and it's also a really nice thing to get to do with tom i feel like when i was scuba diving and i was looking to my right and there was tom scuba diving i was like ah anyway i should pick you up in the morning What just happened? Uh, we had to take Molly out um, because yesterday we had a, a, a bit of a problem with the mass skill. So mm -hmm. we just came out in the early morning. Mm -hmm. um, we smashed out the mass skill, and now Molly is an open water diver. Yay! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there was a time where I didn't think that was going to happen. So thank you very much. No problem. Honestly, such a good instructor. It's an absolute pleasure. It was great having you guys around. Thank you. All thank right. you for being so patient as no, well. No worries. I had, I had fun. Oh, we are both certified divers now. We finished our open water course technically yesterday. I didn't vlog anything else because to be honest, I actually just felt really overwhelmed by it. I knew that I might because I was quite nervous before I started this, wasn't I? Actually, you did a lot better than I expected. I don't mean that in a mean way. I, yeah, I know. I just mean you're not the most confident in the water, but yeah. you were so good at diving. I actually really enjoyed it once I got the hang of it. The issue that Brian was explaining in that last clip is that basically you do four underwater dives and you get like deeper on each one that you do. And on the final one at the end, you have to do a skills test where you like demonstrate that you can do all of the skills that you learn in the swimming pool. So one of them is like dropping the regulator out of your mouth and then like retrieving it without like obviously choking or like not breathing did that fine and then the last one is taking your mask off under the water holding it to the side and then putting it back on and when then I, clearing the water and then clearing well. the mask yeah what happened when i did that tom you decided to swallow the water through your nose uh panic then spat out the water and the regulator and then tried to swim to the surface <laughs> in a panic yeah um, which is not what you're supposed to do no. at all. It was so. actually, honestly, I'm laughing about it now, but the, it felt like minutes that that went on for. I'm sure it was about 10 seconds. It was not. It felt like such a long time. In that moment, I really felt like I was going to drown because I knew that I was so far from the surface of the sea that, like, I could not, like, I would, I don't know what I would have done. So, obviously, then my fight or flight kicked in and I just wanted to swim to the surface. Brian, the instructor, was, like, holding me down because the worst thing to do in, in scuba diving is to just rush to the surface like it's dangerous for your body. Um, so instead he put the thing back in my mouth and like squirted loads of air into my mouth and he was like breathe, breathe And then I was like ah, ah. <laughs> And it was really frustrating because actually the dive had gone really well All of the other skills had gone really well I just stupidly inhaled through my nose as I took my mask off Obviously choking myself And then we got back and I was really unsure about whether I wanted to get back in the water to try again Because I was quite put off by it I spoke to Brian, I spoke to Tom and I was like it would be silly to not get this now And actually I'm really glad that I did You would have still been certified as a scuba diver yeah. But this allows you to be certified to 20 meters as an open water diver. as an open water diver so like the, the, the basically the only difference is was it 12 meters the yeah standard? 12 meters and then you'd have to go with a instructor where we can now go with a dive master yeah so if you've never dived before they don't really mean much to you and to be fair 
water before this it wouldn't have meant much to me but it does mean that i'm like fully qualified as a certified open water diver now <laughs> i actually thoroughly enjoyed the diving element of it it's just like you know you know if you do a driving test and they ask you at the end to do a couple of maneuvers and you might not ever have to do them again like how often do you reverse around a corner for example but you just have to demonstrate that you can do it and that's what i'd slipped up on and like it is a confidence thing with me and i thought if i don't get back in the water and try again i'm probably never going to do this again the best thing to do was just to while it was kind of still all fresh and in your mind just do it again yeah, and get that bad memory out of your mind yeah but i want to give a huge huge shout out to brian and the whole team at la bombona diving because not only were they so patient so incredible with me when i did struggle but also they taught me so well like i had no knowledge of scuba diving before this and i really feel like i've had the best experience and like genuinely confident in this skill now and that is just in four days so if you are coming to kotal i cannot recommend them enough we'll sing their praises forever but also they have given me a discount code so if you guys are interested you can actually get 10 percent off their lessons their course Courses, whatever you're interested in doing I will leave it linked down below it'll be the top line we're gonna check out now we are and then we're gonna head to Krabby we are thank you so much for watching this vlog I can't believe we're scuba divers we're officially scuba ah. divers I never actually thought we'd do it we're open water divers open water not divers, scuba, not divers. scuba divers okay, we need to go and check out but thank you so much for watching the vlog and thank you so much to the team here at La Bombona Diving for gifting us this experience it was absolutely incredible bye guys bye link in the description <laughs>